So we already spoke about the root mean square velocity of any set of points. Now we're going to look specifically at the root mean square velocity for gases. Now in gases, root mean square velocity is given by the following formula, which can be derived using calculus. Now I will spare you the calculus and simply give you the formula. But if you're curious about where this formula comes from, leave a comment and I'll show you. So VRMS is equal to the square root of 3 times R times T divided by M, where M is our molar mass of gas, T is our temperature in Kelvin, and R is the molar gas constant. Now I, or my goal is, I want to use this VRMS to find the average kinetic energy. Because remember, kinetic energy of anything is given by 1 half times mass times V squared. Now to find the kinetic average, I basically plug in my VRMS into my V. And that will give me the average. Because remember, this guy is the average or the quadratic average of my sets of points. So average kinetic energy is equal to 1 half times M times VRMS squared equals 1 half times mass. Now I take my formula for VRMS for gases and plug into my equation. The radical will disappear because the radical has an exponent of a half. A half times 2 is 1. So I simply get 1 half times mass over molar mass times R and T. Now remember, molar mass has units of mass divided by moles. So the, mole, so the mass will cancel and moles will go on top and we'll get one half the mass will cancel so this m this uh, this m and this m will cancel the moles will go on top and we'll have r times t so my final uh, representation of my kinetic or average kinetic energy is three times n times r times t divided by two where n is our number of moles so Suppose we have one mole of any gas. Well, since we, we have one mole, our n will be 1. And for one mole, our formula becomes average kinetic energy of one mole of gas is equal to 3 times r times t divided by 2. So the only non-constant in this equation is t. So we see kinetic energy depends strictly on temperature, or one mole of gas depends strictly on the temperature. Now suppose instead I want to find one molecule. What's the kinetic average of one molecule of gas and not one mole? Well remember a mole has an Avogadro's number of molecules. So I simply take my formula and divide it by n. So 3 times r times 2 divided by 2n. The reason I singled out the r and the n is because this guy is known as the Boltzmann constant. In other words, scientists use some value k that equals r divided by n. So we replace this r divided by n with k called the Boltzmann constant, and our equation becomes 3 times k times t over 2, which is the same thing as saying 3 times r times t divided by 2 times n. So once again, for one molecule, a single molecule, to find the kinetic average of that molecule, we simply divide, use this formula where k is our Boltzmann constant. Now to find the average kinetic energy of a mole of molecules, we have to use this formula. Now note that any, at any given time, our molecule can have any kinetic energy. But on average, a mole of molecules will have this much energy, and on average, a molecule within this mole will have this much kinetic energy.